Most people that go fishing in Tulin for the first time tend to come back for more. And that's because the angling scene here is unlike anywhere else in the world. This tropical destination, surrounded by Mayan ruins, jungle, and golden sandy beaches, is the perfect backdrop for your next fishing adventure. In this video, we're taking you down to the Yucatan Peninsula to check out Mexico's Caribbean coastline. We'll visit a few of the most popular fishing spots in the area to learn more about some of the top target species, seasonality, and everything else you need to know before you plan your next trip here. But before we begin, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell for more updates on the hottest fishing spots around the globe. Tulum is a one-stop shop for all types of anglers, no matter what you're into. There is something here for everyone. Whether you're looking to go fly fishing, spear fishing, trolling, bottom fishing, you name it. With its incredibly productive flats, underwater canyons, and nearshore reefs, you can see why this town attracts saltwater fanatics from far and wide. To start things off though, let's set our sights on Ascension Bay. You can't talk about fishing in Tulum without mentioning this renowned fishery. It's often referred to by inshore enthusiasts from all over the world as the Permit Mecca. You can target these fish all year round, especially between spring and fall. You'll usually spot them in the shallow waters of the bay, only about two to three feet deep. Experts usually go after them on the fly or by using light tackle. They'll take anything from live crabs and shrimp to squid or cut lobster. If you manage to catch a permit, you might as well stay on the water a few more hours to try and complete Mexico's inshore Grand Slam. Which brings us to the infamous Ghost of the Flats, aka Bonefish. Along with Permit and Tarpon, it's one third of that coveted inshore Grand Slam. Casting a line for Bonefish on the Flats is something of a local tradition in this part of Mexico. Tulum's easy access to Ascension Bay means it's the perfect place to try it out. As with Permit, most locals prefer to test their skills on the fly or by using light tackle. Believe it or not, bonefish are a great target for beginner fly fishermen and novice anglers in general. They swim in schools, are drawn to pretty much any fly, and will usually compete for your bait. The best part is you can target them 365 days a year. However, the general rule of thumb is the warmer the weather, the better the bonefish bite. Now let's shift our focus to slightly deeper waters. The Mesoamerican Barrier Reef, or Great Mayan Reef, is located just minutes from Tulum's shores. It stretches over 700 miles along the coasts of Mexico, Belize, Guatemala, and Honduras, and contains over 500 different species of fish. One of those fish is the Great Barracuda. Known for being fast, ferocious, and feisty, this species inhabits not only the flats of Ascension Bay, but the blue waters around the Mesoamerican Reef as well. Since they encompass such a wide area, the chances of catching one of these fanged beasts is pretty strong. They are also available 365 days a year, which means that barracuda fishing in Tulum is open to pretty much anyone, regardless of age or previous angling experience. Other targets include various snapper species, tons of delicious triggerfish, and many other exotic and interesting looking reef fish that you just have to come check out for yourself. For all you big game enthusiasts out there, you'll be happy to know that you can catch huge amberjack and wahoo over the reef and that's just getting started because the further out you travel, the bigger the fish and more intense the action. How can we make a video about Tulum's fishing scene without including the amazing billfish action that's on offer? As we mentioned earlier, this town is located right along a deep underwater canyon, which is home to a range of world famous big game fish. Among them are billfish. We're talking sailfish, white marlin, blue marlin, and even swordfish. But the thing that makes this area so unique is the proximity in which you can catch these fish. Because the underwater canyon is so close to shore, you can catch several of these billfish by traveling just a few minutes from the dock. You can target them year round, but the most productive time to visit is during the hot summer months. Other pelagic species you can catch include mahi-mahi, wahoo, and various tuna species. The best way to truly experience the deep blue waters of the Caribbean is to hop on a fully equipped charter boat with a captain that knows the area best. As a matter of fact, this applies to inshore and reef trips as well. At the end of the day, there's nothing better than local expertise. After watching all this, I bet you just can't wait to go fishing in Tula. But before you head out, there are just a few other things you should keep in mind. You'll need a valid fishing license when fishing on a boat in Mexico. However, if you're fishing on a charter boat, your license is already covered. 
Same goes for spearfishing as well. However, in some rare cases, you'll still need to bring your own license. If you fall into that category, you can easily purchase one online on Mexico's main government website. Also, be sure you're keeping size and bag limits in mind. Each angler is limited to 10 fish per day. However, some fish are actually worth more than others. For example, an individual angler can bag no more than five specimens of a single species, such as permit. An angler can keep only one sample of marlin, sailfish, or swordfish per day, each one counting as half of their daily bag limit. An angler can keep two maki-maki or tarpon on a single day, also amounting to half of their daily bag limit. For more information, you can check out our full blog article linked in the description below. And remember, these rules can change every so often, so be sure to stay up to date before you go fishing. And if it's your first time fishing in Mexico, your best bet is to head out with a local charter. Your license will be included in your trip, and your captain will make sure you're abiding by all the size and bag limits so you don't have to think twice about it. And when you're finally ready to head out, we're here to help. Fishing Booker makes planning your trip extra easy. With hundreds of local guides, verified reviews, and hassle-free online bookings, you'll save time and money and experience an exciting day on the water. So go ahead and visit fishingbooker.com, take a look at some of the charters in the area, and start planning your tooling fishing trip today.